Hey guys, Hollywood here. I'm gonna put my hand in my pocket so I do my best not to hit the mic on the table. And I'm gonna be showing you guys TubeBuddy. It's a tool for your YouTube channel. It does a lot of things. One really cool thing it does is it helps optimize your video for keywords. So let me show you exactly how. You're gonna, once you download TubeBuddy, it's something like 20 or 40 bucks a month. It's really good for the, the value and has a lot of other things but you're gonna hit Tag Explorer. So let's say you're making a video. So recently I made a video about Wirecast. So I'm gonna, so what I was doing earlier, I was typing in words like Wirecast tutorial. And so what it's gonna tell me is how much competition there is and how much search volume it is. And it's gonna give me a score based off that. So this uh, keyword specifically is, is meh, it's all right. Maybe not Wirecast tutorial is maybe not the best one to rank for if you're trying to avoid competition. What if we type in, so Telestream is like the main company. Stream, yeah. So Telestream is the main company that, and Wirecast is one of the products they have. So this uh, keyword has very, uh, not very high, but it has decently high search volume and almost no competition. Now the really cool thing about TubeBuddy is it's all about saving you time. So I can just go here, click. So what's other ones that I might like? Ooh, that one looked like that. That could be one. No, not that one. So these are, once again, we're trying to go, even though there's little per score, or a little low search volume, we still are gonna go for it because the few hundred people that are searching for that, we're going to rank for them. Um, so then all I have to do is copy. And then all I have to do is go into a docs and paste it, and it's going to copy each of these keywords and put a comma behind it. It's really useful because when you're adding tags in a YouTube video, you have to have commas or it will just do a giant keyword. Uh, so having this do it automatically for you, very convenient. Now there are these other options. Now when we go to trending, we're not gonna get anything here because this is a very specific keyword. On it. Very few people know about Wirecast and so there's not gonna be much trending on it. And auto suggest is also not gonna be very big because we did the, we added Telestream, made it more specific. But if we just get rid of Telestream, auto, uh, auto sort of suggest, so trending still not gonna give us anything, but auto suggest is actually gonna give us a lot. So uh, once again, more keywords uh, for us to test out and see if uh, we rank for them. But let's do for beginners. So it's not telling me the score here, but if I just type it in and then go to summary. So meh search volume, but low competition. Another keyword I would want to put in the description and uh, back end and possibly title. And so that's uh, TubeBuddy's key word or tag explorer. If you're trying, you can see what other people are ranking for. Maybe that'll give you some more ideas as well. Um, and you can pretty much stick with summary and auto suggest, but this is also sometimes a good way to see, am I missing the ball or is possibly TubeBuddy missing the ball in any way? You can see what other people are ranking for and then do what they do. Once again, this is TubeBuddy. Uh, it's a tool we use uh, for Liz's channel. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to Liz's email list below. Uh, not only will you receive direct help via email, but she also gives you a free traffic guide ebook about how to inc increase sales with your Amazon business. Uh, I definitely, I mean, the traffic guide is, is worth it, of course. Uh, but definitely just to get on her email list. She's going to be providing weekly content and you get direct help, um, which won't always be available because <laughs> eventually she's going to have such a huge email list. She won't be able to uh, you'll manage all these emails. So uh, get in while you can. Take care, guys.